Hello guys, it's your bro back with the another video. In this video, I'm going to sh be showing you the updated settings for actually setting up your emails in your Jira service management account, uh, ser 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 service management projects. So first of all, you actually go to the project settings and within the project settings, then you're going to navigate to the channels and self-service. And in there, you're actually going to have the emails. Now, this was kind of different before. And um, you didn't have this option to actually create the Atlassian email and to actually add the external email. So within the Jira service management project, when you actually create it, there is a request type that you cannot delete, which is named the emailed request type. Based on the email request type, uh, you can actually receive the requests within your projects. So it doesn't actually have to be really through your portal. It can actually be to with the email address. So you can even use this email address to actually uh, make a request to this specific email address. And within these logs right here, there are there's going to be a date, a status, there's going to be key, there's going to be some details, what is the name subject, what what is the mail subject, who is it from, and etc. So this is created by default. All right. So and in here now you have two options. The first option is actually to create the Atlassian email address. And within the Atlassian email address, everything is actually uh, handled by the Atlassian itself. So you can actually read more about request types in the email channel, which is this link right here. You don't actually have to do this, but one thing that will remain and that is kind of different is when you're creating an Atlassian email address, it will actually use the Atlassian as a keyword in it. So it's going to be processed by the Atlassian itself. If you don't actually want to do this, if you actually have your own email address where you want to process process the request and where you can actually follow the logs, you can actually add the external email address with the uh, Google, Microsoft, or actually with the other. And then you can add it here, add it here as well and that email address can also be processed. The very first uh, the another thing that you actually need to know is um, each project can actually have up to 10 connected email accounts. I don't know how, how realistically you're going to have like 10 email accounts. Uh, maybe some of you are going to have, uh, especially the users, uh, the Jira instances with uh, thousands and thousands of users, then it's a different story. Uh, the another thing is oh, what you can actually manage is your uh, participants uh, within the email itself here. If you actually click on the customer permissions and when it comes to the customer permissions is that um, you can include new customers um, in the in their email address in two or CC field when replying to the request email information. So this is uh, something that uh, you can actually read more about if you're really interested, but we're not actually covering that. So if I go ahead, if I create my uh, email right here, and if I say something like uh, Jira bro, and then I can select the request type in here. So your request type in here can also be, let's say, get a guest Wi-Fi account. And now I can actually have 
also received emails for the guest um, Wi-Fi account request type, but it's of course using a different email address. So that is um, that is an interesting thing in here. So you're not uh, having only the request a type of uh, email requests, but also you can add another email. I can, I mean you can add up to ten. And also it can be a different request type. So that is so that is how the uh, emails work for Jira service management. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.